So in this session, we are going to talk about the concept of propositional logic. Okay. So before that, we are going to first understand what a proposition is. So a proposition or a assertion. Okay. The another name for proposition is an assertion. So it is basically a declarative statement which is either true or false. So we define it as a declarative statement which is either true or false but not both. Okay. So it should be either correct or false. Okay. True or false but not both. So if I have to take an example, what I can do is, I can say that George Washington was the first American president. Okay. So is it a assertion? It is an assertion because it is indeed correct that George Washington was the first American president. Okay. We can call this statement as P. Okay. And your P is going to be a proposition which stands for George Washington was the first American president. And we know that P is true. Okay. Therefore, P is a proposition. Okay. Similarly, what I can say is, let's say I have another statement Q. Let's define it as Michael Jackson performed at Wembley. On 25th December 2010, okay, performed at Fimpley on 25th December 2010. Now, I know that Q is false because Michael Jackson was long dead before 25th December 2002. Therefore, in spite of the fact that Q is false, I still call Q a proposition because it is still having a truth value. A truth value is anything between true or false. Okay. Therefore, Q is also a proposition. Therefore, Q is a proposition. Okay. So, it doesn't matter if it is false. Okay. It should be either false or true. Okay. But not both. Now, let's understand what is not a proposition. Okay. Let's suppose I make a statement that I say Twilight, Twilight the series, okay? Twilight which is a book involving vampires, okay? I say Twilight is the greatest series in fiction in modern times, okay? So, this statement may or may not be true. Okay. Why? Because this is something that may be applicable to me, but maybe not to someone else. So what can happen is Roy can certainly believe that Twilight is the greatest series in fiction that we have today. But at the same time, we can have Sally, which feels that Twilight is a total ripoff of Dracula and having similar themes from the past novels. Okay. So in that case, I would say that S is not a proposition because we cannot uniquely say whether it is true or false. Okay. Therefore, I'm going to say that S is 
not a proposition because it is not possible to determine if it is true or false okay because it's not possible to determine the truth value of s okay what is the truth value truth value is true or false the state of a statement being true or false okay so we have two truth values we have either a statement having a truth value of true or having a truth value of false either of them is okay as long as it is a unique truth value for a particular statement okay similarly let's say that i have one more statement let's call it as let's call it as t okay i define t as x is prime now since you do not know what x is you cannot determine whether this statement that we are talking about is indeed correct or whether it is false so i say that this is not a proposition rather this is a open statement okay t is a open statement okay we are going to talk about open statements in much greater detail later but for the time being just remember that t is a open statement as its truth value is dependent on x okay truth value is dependent on x so if you have x is equal to 6 then 6 is prime is a false statement and t is a proposition similarly if your x is 23 then 23 is prime is a true statement and your t is going to be a proposition but since we have x whose value is not known or it is not bound we say that this is not a proposition but a open statement okay